spring, and light has brought life to the greenhouse. And beneath the glass, the race for growth has begun. In the struggle to burst through the soil, the seedlings have used up their food reserves. They now need light to make new food by photosynthesis. It's light that they need, and I hope by the end of summer that they will be virtually covering the whole of the glasshouse structure above me. During the spring months, the cucumbers race upwards. The tendrils flail around, searching for support to pull the plants towards the sunlight. During the day, the leaves are exposed to the sunlight. It's here in these leaves that the critical energy transfer from the sunlight takes place. Within the individual cells of the leaves are the microscopic chloroplasts. It's here that the green substance chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight, using its energy to create the plant food through photosynthesis. This is the big energy transfer. The plant is transferring the energy of sunlight into chemical energy. But sometimes, Sarah deliberately denies the plants light by growing them in pots. However, there is method behind this apparent madness. The rhubarb's really good. It's this lovely red ruby colour, and it's this colour because it's been forced in a rhubarb forcer, as opposed to this, which is very green, very coarse and very large and inedible now. But why are the plants outside the pot inedible? During the spring, the rhubarb outside the pots has been happily photosynthesizing, using the light energy trapped in the chloroplasts, turning the raw ingredients of carbon dioxide and water into plant sugars. If we now look more closely at the individual cells of the plant, we see that it has stored these sugars in hundreds of tiny starch grains. Inside the pots, there's a different story. Desperately seeking light, the rhubarb races upwards its stems become taller and slender. Starved of sunlight, the rhubarb is unable to photosynthesize. But how does this affect the plant? If we take a closer look at the leaves of the rhubarb, we see in the cells that the starch grains are few and far between. This is a sure sign that the plant has been unable to manufacture its sugary food. Outside, the rhubarb is gorging on sunlight. It has grown fat and full of starch. The stems are tough and inedible, so it's only in the pots that the stems deprived of sunlight are tender enough to eat. <laughs> 